This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. We are happy. Yeah, man. Hats on. Hats on. Titans what win! A Saturday night. Were yes. you? I can't even fathom what this has to be like at your house to watch that game. Well, no one was allowed to leave their positions, as you know, right. because when good things happened and you were in a certain position, you had to stay, stay in that stay. position. No one was allowed to move. Right. So we actually had different corners of the house covered. Awesome. Yeah, because because none of us were allowed to move. You had it done. Oh, we had it done. So it was great. So why don't we just go over it again? Okay. We're gonna Recap. pretend like we're Joe Dubin. Go. Go. All right. We're down 21 to 3. It's the third quarter. What I was love that. that? It's Marcus to Marcus, of course. I mean, what? <laughs> that is totally in the playbook. Marcus to Marcus. There's a screen. Then, I mean, you just just watch Derrick Henry go. Oh there my you gosh. Go. A 35 yard run that will make it 21 to 16. Here we go. Boom. And you know, Eric Decker, what a call to him. Yeah. Big, huge catch after he had a big, huge third down drop earlier in the game. I remember that. But then yeah. to make that call, that game-winning call, and he does it, that's just huge. It was amazing. It, it was just a fun game to watch overall. Boom, yeah, done. But the defense the was end. just monsters, right? So everybody's fired up. That is the loudest stadium in the country to play in and to rally and do that sort of win. It was like, oh, my God. It was so good. Okay. Now so. on to Foxborough. Wow. Saturday night. Okay. It's going to be cold there. Yeah, well, it's always cold there, but it's going to be even colder because, you know, Patriots. I know. But we'll be watching. Let's we'll be cheering it. on our Titans. Why not? They got nothing to lose. Such a fun show for you on this Monday morning. Our pal, he's hanging out with us, John Schneider. He's back. You may know him as Bo Duke from Dukes of Hazard, an amazing, accomplished musician. Really cool project. Extremely ambitious, by the way. He's going to tell us all about it and perform a song for us coming up. Yeah, it's got so many Nashville roots to it. We're really, really pumped about that. And then we have local artist pageantry this lady's awesome just released her debut self-titled album she got a really unique sound not her not her there you go Woo! we've got her live performance later on in the show and we're heating things up in our super home surplus kitchen pretty pumped about this scouts pub is here chef jesse is here he's got a special menu item that the pub is going to be making next week it's restaurant week which is like our favorite week of the year Honey Tabasco Chicken. I'm on board with that. That feels like football food. I'm, I am watching it right now just to see how much Tabasco is in it. Okay, you know. so but from that yeah. to talking about diet <laughs> and right. a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, let's, let's eat healthier. But you know what? This place has dedicated to make us all a little bit better. Urban Market in Franklin. They've got some great items from their store. They're doing this store-wide cleanse, and like 400 people have gotten on board with it. Oh, really? So they are like leading the charge okay. uh, for a lot of folks in their resolutions to just make some little changes that evolve into big ones. I'm, I'm, yes. Let's hear more about it. I don't know <laughs> if I'm in, but I like hearing about it. You like hearing about it. I like hearing about it. Big story of the day, Golden Globes, we were watching last night. The theme was, in fact, female empowerment all the way around. People began with stars on the red carpet, but they all wore black. So it was to highlight gender inequality, all a part of the Time's Up movement. It was really hard to find somebody that wasn't in black last night. I mean, if somebody wore a color, they were glared at, I'm sure. Well, and each star is with an advocate. So yeah. these are advocates, uh, women cool. advocates that have done so much across the country. So they were trying to highlight people who are on very different stages um, in trying to help others. So very, very cool. And, you know, the cards were stacked against Seth Meyers. How is he going to pull it off? <laughs> Opening up the show. And he went for it, bringing up all sorts of last year's difficulties, but in a really fun and entertaining way. I really thought he delivered. I thought he nailed it. I loved it. Take a listen. Good evening, ladies and remaining gentlemen. <laughs> For the male nominees in the room tonight, this is the first time in three months it won't be terrifying to hear your name read out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. He was goes on funny. to say, did you hear about so-and-so? And everyone goes, oh, he goes, nominated for a Golden Globe. Oh, oh thank God. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so I love good. it. The mood was definitely set. That mood continued, and it reached its highest point with a rousing speech by Cecil B. DeMille Award recipient, Oprah Winfrey.
So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too, again. Well, you know the new hashtag. Yeah. It is Oprah 2020. <laughs> and that was on fire yesterday on Twitter. So many rumors before that maybe she would make a run for the presidency. And that speech pretty much sealed it for a lot of folks around the country. It was uh, it was really, really fun to watch the yeah, entire they show. They asked Stedman, her partner, and he said she'd probably run for president. Yeah. I saw her walking with Reese Witherspoon with her arm around her, and I was like, ooh, Vice President Reese. I don't know. The Rock was eyeing her up, too. And the, oh, Rock, the, Rock, the Rock wants to run so this is, bad. This is why I love The Rock. First of all, he says no to nothing. He will do any movie. Yes, and I, fairy. And I love that. Right. And, and weirdly, I saw that movie, and I liked it. It's actually good. But he says I know nothing about politics, but he really would like to get into it. So why not? All right. There, there you go. Yeah. Hey, this is one thing I'm really into, Justin Timberlake. I listened to his new song no less than four times over the weekend on repeat on Saturday morning four times. Probably a lot more it's than fine. that. I know it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm very happy this very morning. Feel apologetic about it. It's okay to like music. <laughs> he just announced his Man of the Woods tour. It's making a stop here in Nashville. Mark your calendars, everybody. Justin's tour is stopping at Bridgestone on May the 9th. Tickets go on sale for that show January 24th. Unless you have 15 pre sale codes, which come out because you know that that's how that happens. So get your pre sale code. Get ready, JT. There you go. Be there on the night. There you go. Good time. All right.